This is a short video about friendship. I thought about this yesterday, didn't do it, and I decided to do it today. It is November 23rd, 2024. It's about, it was me in 1971. Number 21 on the cross-country team. Robert Beatty. Bob Beatty. That's 35 there. That's Joe Dixon. 1971. That is Jim Slaughter. Then had wearing a headband. Jim Rob Joe, 1971. And we're still friends. It's been 61 years since Jim and I met on November 22nd, 1963. It was after school. The day Kennedy was shot, we were told Kennedy was shot. And Jim and I, both still in elementary school, but we were the only two who seemed to be talking about the assassination. So we became friends, and for a while, we're best friends. Uh, Joe and I were always friends. We were never best friends, but we were good friends. And, you know, I don't remember the exact dates. I could look them up, I suppose. But I'll just say 20 years ago, Jim's mother died. And when I went to the funeral... Who's there but Joe? Joe and I are right next to each other. So he was also, you know, we, we stayed Dutch. He was friends and we both went to Jim's mother's funeral and he appreciated it. And about 10 years ago, Joe's mother died. And Jim and I went to Joe's mother's funeral and Joe appreciated it. And recently, my mother died. I did not tell Jim or Joe until after the funeral because they would have had to drive hundreds of miles to the funeral at a small rural graveyard. We only had a graveside service and I didn't want to put them through that because they would have been there. They would have driven hundreds of miles to attend my mother's funeral. And they would have <clears throat> done that out of friendship, long friendship, well over 50 years. <clears throat> when I told Jim, he wept. He said, my mom had been one of his four moms who he, over the years, especially younger years, he had turned to and uh, she always helped him like another mom. Uh, Joe had uh, not had that same relationship, but he, uh, he knew I talked about my mom some and Jim had talked about my mom. <coughs> You don't know, it's true, you might hear this as an aphorism, you don't know how splendid the day has been until you've reached the evening. That's talking about a day and it's talking about a life. So, you know, we're all, you know, approaching them or at that three score and 10 and we're in the evening of life. And it is good to have good friends. I have more than these two, but a uh, handful of good friends. Uh, I hope you do too, although you may not know who they are until later in life. There were some... Uh, good friends I've lost touch with, some I don't know why, 
others I no longer communicate with. They, <laughs> you know, I wrote true crime books. I worked in a psych ward. I considered becoming a psychologist or psychiatrist. Um, some of my old friends that I no longer keep in touch with, just, they're really psychopaths. Not these guys. These guys are solid gold. And uh, I hope you have such good friends.